Reviewing Day for Diver is a right tricky job. Here you have a game where you're running a sushi joint by night and taking a dip in the deep blue ocean by day. It's a game that should be broken in concept, but is utterly magical in its execution. Folks will brush it off as too simplistic, but they're missing out on its complexity. So sit tight, my pedigree chums, and let Reggie and the boys fill you in why Dave the Diver is the absolute dog's bollocks of an indie game and why it might just be the best game of the year. Grab yourself a cuppa and let's have a chat in today's review. In Dave the Diver, you're playing as a proper big bone lad, someone who's clearly spent more time feasting on KFC than gobbling down sushi. You're the local scuba bitch, taking on missions from the locals to help their own little Jerry Springer-esque problems. But the real deal here is growing your restaurant to new heights, and that means diving into the local dive spot, teeming with fancy fish. The deeper you plunge, the more exotic the fish become, and the more dosh you and your restaurant rake in. And let me tell you, lads, the story ain't too shabby at all. You've got these artists cutscenes as if Quentin Tarantino himself designed them and everything here moves along nicely. The text ain't too heavy, a criticism of many games of this nature, and it's sprinkled in with a healthy dose of cheeky humour. The momentum's just right, my Padawans. You'll always have something to do and there are plenty of side quests to give your restaurant that extra edge. So let's talk about that sushi restaurant because it's a hub of activity. First off, you've got this master chef called Boncho, looking like he's come straight out of Mortal Kombat, ready to take on the world with his culinary magic. But he needs your help gathering them ingredients. Once you stock up on Flipper and his mates, you're in charge of deciding what goes on the menu. All the fish you catch during the day end up in your fish tank, and the more fish you've got, the more you can sell. No shit, Sherlock. But here's the kicker. You also gobble up precious fish and take your sushi to a new level if you want to enhance the recipes. That means even more dosh in your pocket as you raise the quality of your meals, but of course you've got to catch more fish to restock. And it ain't just about the food, lads. You've got to hire staff, trade them up, and make the tough decisions of whether they'll wait tables or join the kitchen to be Boncho's little bitch. And you're going to need all the help you can get, because when the doors open at night, it's a madhouse. You'll be buzzing around serving sushi, cleaning tables, pouring pints, the whole shebang. There were times when Reggie forgot to refill the wasabi and in the blink of an eye my profits tanked as customers stormed out waiting for their dish. Now credit where it's due, the developers did an absolute blinding job here with the gameplay. Despite all the madness on screen, you never feel lost, you ain't spending ages cooking dishes or chopping up a load of nonsense and the shifts they don't last a lifetime either. Each time Task is quick, maybe two, three second tops. It's organized chaos chaps, and it plays out brilliantly. As Jesus famously said, give a man a fish and he will eat. Give him a sushi restaurant to run and he be f***. And so that's where the scuba sections of Dave the Diver come into play. You as Dave dive deep into the deep blue with your trusty harpoon, pulling in those slippery f***. What is brilliant here is the sheer variety of marine life. There's fish everywhere you look, from the tiddlers to the big boys, you're going to come across them all. A quick jab with the harpoon and they're reeled in, but be mindful, there's a weight limit to contend with. I found myself holding in shark chunks at one point and chubby Dave, he was struggling to move about the place. And watch out, because some of the fish will put up a fight. you got to use weapons to take them down and you are sometimes granted a little quick time event to get your catch. As you progress, you can craft different weapons and even give them an upgrade, including your gear, making the challenge a tad easier, but still satisfying nonetheless. And beside the trusty harpoon and weapon, you got yourself handy little items that you can carry, like a UV light to navigate dark caves or a portable oxygen tank. And let's talk about oxygen, shall we? Because one of the things I absolutely love about this game is how they've simplified it. You got no stamina bar, no health bar, no, it's all about that precious oxygen. Swim faster and it depletes quicker. Get a nasty nip from Bruce the shark and there goes a big chunk of your oxygen. The longer and deeper you dive, the faster that oxygen gets sucked away. It's a race against the clock with me barely making it back to the surface with Nemo and his mates in my fish sack, all whilst having sharks snapping at my toes. Lovely stuff. 
What Reggie failed to mention so far is the story, and don't fret, I won't ruin it for you. Now, there's a main story you've got to follow where you might be searching for a particular item or lending a hand to someone in need. Along the way, you're going to uncover the history of the place, learn about past events, and tackle some side quests as well. There's also end bosses thrown in for good measure that open up whole new sections of the underwater world. So here you have the freedom to fish all day if that's your fancy, or focus on the missions if that's more your style. My only gripe was that sometimes I struggle to find certain items. There I was scouring the ocean floor, searching high and low, and still coming up empty-handed. But fear not, eventually you get what you need, and yes, there's still more to do. Your day is split into three parts, morning, afternoon, and night. Morning and afternoon are all about diving and massacring the fish population, while the evening is when the sushi restaurant opens up. Likewise, you can also create a fish farm, a little adventure of its own. You gather the fish you find along the way and try to get them to mate in the tanks like the little sick pimp that you are you dirty bugger if they do mate you got yourself some top-notch fish meat where you can then ship out whole generations of family to your sushi restaurant for Boncho to work his magic with that knife of his reminds me of how Jack the knife used to do his dirty business but I digress here either way it's a whole lot of content to play with and now we can talk graphics for an indie game it's a sight to behold Oh, the art style is absolutely top notch. It's got that polish, that attention to detail that leaves other games in their dust. It's the little things that you start to appreciate, just like my wife says to me when I get naked. For example, I love how the coral hides away as Big Fat Dave gets close, or how droplets pitter patter on the ocean surface when it's raining above, or how the ocean takes on a lovely orange hue when it's sunset. Everything on your screen is alive and kicking, vivid and vibrant, and them little hand-drawn details they take you right into Australia's coral reef now what I really like is how they've used that retro pixel art style but they've done it in such a way that it blurs the lines it's not just 8-bit or 16-bit it's something more something beyond and it works a treat lads take a gander at them high fidelity bubbles coming off Dave as he swims about the particle effects throughout are spot on every fish has its own unique look and personality but what really gets me is how they've layered the foreground and backgrounds together. I don't know how many layers they actually are in this, but for a 2D game, it feels downright 3D at times. And when you add in them magnificent colours, the variety of sea life, and the glorious animations, Dave the Diver is light years ahead of any indie game that I've played. Reggie's as wet about the graphics as Dave is in his scuba gear. It really is that much of a stunner, and it's full of charm. And believe it or not, the sound department matches the high standards of the graphics. The first thing that hit you is the chill vibe music. It's like an 80s synth keyboard extravaganza that fits the game style to a T. And as you go deeper, the music changes to match the dangers. I never once got bored of listening to the tunes because my eardrums, they were in love. But what really deserves a shout out is the sound effects. The love and attention poured into them is something else. Taking fire in that harpoon for instance. Reggie hears two, even three different sounds depending on what's going on. There's a sound when the harpoon extends out, a sound when it retracts, and a different sound when you snag a fish. In other games, you just get one flat sound there. Same goes for opening chests. There's a sound when an item pops out the lid, and a sound when you pick it up. When you slice up a fish in the middle of the ocean, like a crazed maniac, you got it. There's a sound for that too, and even a little sound effect where Dave gives you a thumbs up. Everything here is packed to the brim with sound effects. Every action, every threat, every item you pick up. And the same goes for the restaurant too. You get so engrossed in the game that you might miss out on these subtleties. But to me, that just proves how everything here is designed for maximum immersion and it bloody well works perfectly. It's top-notch stuff, my Padawans. And there you have it, boys and girls, an indie game that's blown me out the water. When I set up this channel, I made sure I was gonna be a tough critic of games. Scores of nine or 10 are reserved for the absolute best out there. But here I am giving an indie game a perfect 10 score, only the second one on this channel in fact, and how can I not? 
Dave the Diver is an indie game that will be talked about for years to come and all for a measly $20. It's charming, fulfilling, highly addictive little game. What's clear is the love the developers Mint Rocket have for their creation. The attention to detail, the beautiful art style, the glorious sounds, everything is executed with such care that you can't help but fall in love just like they have. Even if these types of games ain't normally your cup of tea, I'd still recommend Dave the Diver because it's something that is truly special. And with that, my lovelies, have a wonderful day. Reggie out.